You know, anytime I hear Studio Ghibli's making a new film, no matter what I ultimately think of the final product, based on the announcement alone, it's always music to my ears. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about a brand new HBO Max film, Earwig and the Witch. Let me know in the comments before we begin what your thoughts on this movie were. If you already saw it, if you were excited for it, if you weren't planning on seeing it, let me know so we can discuss. Also make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you like these reviews as it helps me out immensely by getting my channel out there and growing their community. And if you are new here, I hope you consider hitting that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with reviews of newer films, older films, hidden gems, and so much more on a near daily basis. But let's not waste any more more time and let's talk about Earwig and the Witch. This follows an orphan girl named Earwig who is adopted by a witch and comes home to a spooky house filled with mystery and magic. Directed by Goro Miyazaki, this is the first film by Studio Ghibli in seven years, or really six years as it was initially released as a TV movie in Japan back in December. And as I'm sure you're all aware by now, this is also the first feature length foray into CGI animation for them after decades of nothing but hand-drawn animation. And that's going to be one of the biggest subjects of debate when watching this. Especially in a day where hand-drawn animation is becoming less common, you usually could always count on Studio Ghibli as one of the remaining studios to keep traditional animation alive. So there will be a lot of people upset at this film based on the CGI alone. Now, personally, I didn't think it was the worst animation I've seen. I can't necessarily say it was all that great. It was at best serviceable, and I'd much rather them go back to hand-drawn animation to be perfectly honest, especially if this is an indicator of what their CGI films will look like, but it wasn't the biggest strike against this film for me. That would be its story. And I'm not saying every Studio Ghibli film totally works, as there have been a few that I thought were just meh, but not only does this not even come close to measuring up with Ghibli's other films, but even the comparisons to their other work aside, on its own, it's just really not that good of a story. And it kind of makes sense that the film was originally a TV movie in Japan, because it honestly felt like it. And not to rip too much on made-for-TV movies, as there have been some that are actually good, but this film didn't feel like a finished product. It's only an hour and 20 minutes, and basically the entire plot is Earwig trying to find clues as to who this witch's true identity is. And we really don't focus on any other conflict in the film, so it's laser focused on Earwig running around the house, finding all these nifty things that may be some key to the witch's identity, and it's all this build up as she finds clue after clue, all while she helps the witch conjure spells. Which itself starts to become a bit repetitive after a while. It's the sort of sequence that, in any other film with a similar plot structure, it would be about 10 to 15 minutes at most before we hit the hour mark, but this stretches this hunt for clues out to nearly the full hour and 20 minutes, or really a little less than that given we have credits. And it felt like the filmmakers just didn't know what else to talk about here. And that would have been somewhat forgivable, but then finally, when it seems like we've reached the turning point as Earwig starts getting her answers, the film abruptly cuts the credits. And I did a double take. I was actually watching this on my laptop and I thought maybe I hit a button by mistake. And when I realized that wasn't the case, I felt kind of ripped off. Like it just cuts and that's it. And that means there really wasn't much to this story overall. Earwig helps this witch do chores around the house and she goes off on little side ventures throughout the house to learn about her past and they wind up having no impact on Earwig's life whatsoever. The end. Like, I hate to be harsh, especially with this company of all things, but it really just makes the film feel like a waste of time. While there were some moments that had these nice bursts of energy and it would be occasionally funny and we also had a nice voice cast that includes Vanessa Marshall, Richard E. Grant, and Dan Stevens, all of them do their best with this material, there wasn't anything here that we can latch onto emotionally. And what makes it worse is that Earwig herself isn't exactly a likable character. She might say something mildly funny from time to time, but through most of this film, she's nothing but bossy, bratty, rude, and domineering. When she's at the orphanage in the beginning, she's giving other kids orders, and all she does when she's at the witch's home is just get into arguments with her. And really the only other thing motivating her is just trying to get out of doing chores and helping her conjure spells. And there's really not much else to her personality beyond that. And while I didn't outright hate her as a protagonist, I think we needed way more than what we got here. As it was nothing I felt was worth investing all my time in. 
really hate to say this. I really, really do. But of everything I've seen, this might just be Studio Ghibli's worst film. It's not even the animation that's the biggest deal breaker for me. It's just the fact that it's an incomplete story. It's 70 minutes of fluff, 5 minutes of actual plot development, and then another 5 or so minutes of credits. It felt like my time was totally wasted here. On top of the fact that it centered around a bratty, unlikable protagonist who we could just never connect with emotionally. It has some inspired moments here and there, but it ultimately falls flat for me. Earwig and the Witch gets a 3.5 out of 10. So let me know, did you see Earwig and the Witch, or are you planning to see it, and what were your thoughts? Did you wind up liking this one? Do you have a favorite Studio Ghibli film? Let me know in the comments below so we can discuss. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it, and for more movie reviews and film discussion, please make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated. Thanks for watching everyone, and keep having fun with film.